Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today we're going to take a look at proportional diagrams. And the visual I want to talk about today actually comes from a recent State of the Union address by US President Obama. And if you watch it on the web, you see the enhanced version. And what they did is they created some visuals to illustrate the points he's talking about. One of those visuals was a proportional diagram. And that's what I want to take a look at today. So let's look at the slide. Here's the visual that President Obama used when he was talking about the proportion of students that do not graduate from high school. And so what this is, this is a proportional diagram. And it is a great substitute when you want to use something a little different than a pie chart. And it's supposed to show proportion. Now, the challenge I have with this particular visual, it is, by the way, totally accurate. I did count all the, the red uh, students in desks who are the ones who don't graduate, and the light blue ones are the ones who do graduate. The challenge is that because they're spread out, it doesn't show that uh, really there's a big problem. It looks like, you know, a few scattered around, and not everybody's going to see that it's really a full quarter. And remember, this is substituting for a pie graph or a pie chart. So what I did was is I looked at each uh, column, each vertical column in this, and said if we created a pie chart using the breakdown as we've got here, this is what it would look like nice psychedelic but if I said to you okay look at the pie chart and it's clear that uh, the red slices uh, represent one quarter of the uh, students that uh, that are going to high school and those are the ones that aren't going to graduate would you really be able to take all of those red slices put them together and conclude that that's a full quarter I don't think you could I, I know I couldn't and so what we need to remember is when we're using a proportional diagram we need to make it like a pie chart so that people can easily see the proportion so here's what I did is I redid that particular visual into this one uh, I simply moved all of the red uh, colored students to one quadrant and so now we can see clearly one quarter of the students look at that big proportion if that set of uh, students doesn't graduate that's a lot of folks we've missed out we need to do something about that so this sort of a proportional diagram uh, is I think more effective because people easily understand it because remember the point of a visual is to make it easy for your audience to understand so some lessons we should learn about uh, using proportional diagrams uh, just before we go there remember the book all the information and ordering is at visualslidevolution.com all the rest of the information about my training, consulting, uh, other resources at thinkoutsidetheslide.com. So what are the lessons in using proportional diagrams? First of all, remember that this can only be used where we would use a pie chart because an, a proportional diagram is an alternative to a pie chart. Um, so where you're showing a percentage, or in this uh, case a fraction, that would be a good time to think about using a proportional diagram. Just like in a pie chart, we want to group the related items together so that it's easy for the audience to visually look at it and see what that percentage or fraction would be. Now, universal symbols are also a great thing to use in proportional diagrams. Here's what, in this one, what uh, they did was they used the symbol of a desk and they used two colors, red. Red is normally not a good color, stop or uh, that sort of thing and then the light blue was was a nice contrast with the background but think about universal symbols might be a check mark and an x or happy face and a sad face so things that are universal that people understand that relate to what it is you, you're talking about and finally uh, don't rely on just the proportional diagram to get the message across. Make sure that you put what the proportion is in the headline, as they did here. They actually said one quarter, one out of four. Put that proportion in the headline, because otherwise what you're doing is you're asking the audience to do math, to actually go and figure it out and sort of, eh, rule of thumb, it's about this many. Well, don't make them do math. Put the proportion in it will make your proportional diagram a lot easier to understand. So if you're thinking about using a pie chart, consider will a proportional diagram actually give good visual variety? And if so, use these lessons to make your proportional diagram effective. This has been Dave Parody with another Slide Makeover video podcast.